It's payback time. Onanoga speaks on Buhari's actions against Tinubu. Wow. So all of them are still saying this thing is a payback time, payback time. I don't understand. So the same rhetorics that is, have been coming from Tinubu that uh, he made uh, Buhari the president, he worked for him to be president and everything. And now it is his own turn, it is his own time. Um, so all the spokespersons in APC have also told the same line to repeat the same rhetorics. That is why Tinubu's wife came out to say that uh, Tinubu's coming out to say Milokon did not just come out of the blues. He did not just come because he wants to say his turn. That he came out of a very careful thoughts and out of uh, you know his precedents and track records. So it means that this is what they mean. And they worked for APC. They worked to make Buhari the president. And now it's his turn, so it's payback time. That is what Onanoga is trying to establish here. Now let's see what he has to say more. The director of media and publicity of the Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council, Bayo Onanoga, has said that the 2023 election should be payback time for his candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, after everything he had done to ensure President Muhammad Buhari's victory in previous election. Mm -hmm. Onanaga said this in a reaction to the recent declarations by President Buhari, which are perceived to be targeted against Tinubu's presidential ambition. Top APC chieftain and concerned individuals have asserted that the new Naira redesign policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria, done with the Nigerian leader's consent, was meant to truncate Tinubu's campaign events. Oh boy. Many acknowledged that the policy was a good development, but the timing, but that the timing was wrong. Can you imagine? So, so the, they are still believing that it was done to truncate Tinubu's agenda. So it means that Tinubu was ready to buy vote. It means that he has stashed up cash to buy the vote. That is true. So why, so why are they feeling targeted? Because PDP is not complaining, uh, Labour Party is not complaining, other parties are not complaining. In fact, in, in individuals in Nigeria today are beginning to see the need to, to you know, to to sustain this narrative design policy because it's obvious that the APC people actually stashed up cash to buy vote, and in a bid to ensure there is free and fair election, okay. And uh, without any form of inducement, they have initiated this uh, Naira redesign. Okay, so it means that it, it, was, it, it was a blow on him and he could feel it. That is APC, Tinubu, they, they could feel it. Wow. So it's, not, it's no more a rumor then. Uh, wading into the, okay, wading into the happenings barely one week into the forthcoming presidential election, Onanaga took to his Twitter page on Saturday morning to say that his principal deserves the support of the president. Onanaga noted that Tinubu campaigned vigorously for Buhari during the 2015 presidential election, adding that he expected Buhari to do the same for Tinubu now that he is seeking to be president. Tinubu then in 2014-2015 campaigned vigorously for Muhammad Buhari in Abiyakuta. It should be payback time, I believe, Onanoga wrote on the microblogging platform. Meanwhile, the APC uh, Presidential Campaign Council, APCC, APC, PCC, have come out to clear the air about the link of his flag bearer, Tinubu, with the party's governors who disobeyed the directive of President Buhari over the old Naira deadline. Now, it was understood that the campaign council had described as fake news an alleged publication by the People's Gazette insinuating that Tinubu was responsible for ordering the said APC governors to disobey the president's directive and enforce the Supreme Court ruling on the recirculation of old Naira notes. 
The APCPCC Director of Media and Publicity of the Council, Onanoga, said in a statement on Friday in Abuja that the viral news published by the platform, as mentioned earlier, was fake news. Hmm. Therefore, the council requests that the newspaper recant the story immediately. Onanoga submitted that the APC flag bearer did not influence any decision taking over the policy and doesn't know anything about the said publication. <laughs> he clarified that neither Tinubu nor the APC PCC advisor on media and communications, Dele Alake, issued such an advisory on behalf of Asiwadi Tinubu. He said it was unthinkable to conceive that Tinubu would order such an action to be taken to disobey the president's directive over the Naira notes issue. Can you imagine? So now this is uh, another branch of the controversy again. Okay. The first part is that uh, it's payback time. Because in 2014-2015, Tinubu campaigned vigorously for Buhari at Abiyokuta for him to become the president. And then now it is payback time. Tinubu, I mean, uh, Buhari must show consent and must participate in the um in the in the in the in the Tinubu's campaign and for what they can see as well now it's also uh believing or they are also trying to believe as well that the Nara design policy was targeted at uh, frustrating Tinubu's ambition that is exactly what they have seen because uh, they, they they cannot use the money that they have stashed actually for this election they have stashed billions for this election, they were ready to spend billions. Tinubu was ready to spend billions. Atiku is also ready to spend billions on this. But having seen the way things are going, I think Atiku had to throw in caution on how he will release cash. And that is why his campaign team did not start on time because he was checking and double checking to be sure that he was not going to lose his money again this time the way he has lost right from 2015. Okay. So that is. Um, that is uh, what is happening here. And in addition to the issue of um, Buhari supporting Tinubu's campaign, uh, another one coming here is that, uh, you know, the, the, the ordering of the governor to disobey the Buhari's uh, instruction on the circulation of the old Naira notes. Okay. So what uh, the another guy is saying here again is that uh, the People's Gazette published that in a, um, Public Gazette published that uh, Tinubu instructed and ordered the APC governors to disobey uh, uh, President's order, okay, about the circulation of ordinary notes and the banning of the 500 and 200 and uh, 500 and 1000 Naira notes and the returning of 200 Naira notes to circulation to ease the pain that people are going through, okay. So what uh, Onanoga is saying here is that himself and uh, Dele Alake, the two publicity managers of the campaign uh, organization, did not issue such letter or any instruction on behalf of Tinubu. And so requesting that uh, People's Gazette recant their story immediately. Okay, want them to rewrite their story immediately and then to make sure that uh, they would draw the previous uh, story that they published. Now, wow, they have targeted People Gazette this time, and PTA People Gazette, because they will follow him to the letter to be sure that uh, he is he doesn't go, uh, or the, the, the newspaper house does not go free from it. But already it's too late, because the whole media has taken it already from there. Okay, so that is what is happening here. It is payback time. That is the message that uh, Buhari must pay Tinubu back because Tinubu made Buhari president in 2015. Okay, we also saw how after the whole 2015 election, the the Buhari surrounded himself with his cabal and they dumped Tinubu. Tinubu felt slighted and then pulled away. And all that in 2019, uh, he showed up to campaign for himself as. Uh, as president, I think no, okay, no, to still support APC. Okay, and that was when the bullion van issue came up again um, that time. And then he didn't deny it. 
that two believers came to his house with cash. It was his money, not anybody's money. Okay. So now what he's saying is payback time. And then so Buhari should be prepared to pay back and not targeting his campaign or his presidential ambition to strike it down. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.